Ooh, there you are. What's up? How are you? Hi. What's happening? Uh, whenever I do these videos, I always try to think of like an epic way to greet you all. That's gonna be memorable and it's just gonna blow your minds. Yeah, it never really works out for me. Cause I, I'm the kind of person I like to like just jump into things. So what is up everybody? I'm happy to see you all once again. I know I've been missing for a few days. I apologize for that, but I've been really busy. I'm back in New York now. My baby keeps me busy. Baby Christian, he's like on the move nothing but trouble I'm, i've also been auditioning for a few things lately so i've been getting my mind into these characters and i also film my own stuff and i edit other stuff for people and film other stuff for people so that all keeps me busy and it's been keeping me away from you all but i am happy to be here today and since i've been auditioning lately this idea just popped into my mind why don't i talk to you all about it because i also cast for my own projects and I help people cast for their projects as well so I could give you a little bit of insight as to why you didn't book the role. Let's start with, you know, the process of the, the whole casting. So the script's written by someone and a lot of times the writer isn't the director. Sometimes it is. So the writer has an idea what this character should be and what this character should look like and he passes that script on to the director. The director's idea of who the character is changes as well and then he passes it on to the casting director and the casting director has a whole completely different idea of who the character is and what he looks like and what they're looking for in the performance when you come into the casting room so you you walk into the casting you feel like you nailed it you you weren't nervous you performed all your lines you were on point you even burned a little sage before you left the house so all the bad juju and all the bad energy is gone and now you walk into the room and you just feel like you just completely killed and nailed the character. You embody that character and now you're just waiting for this callback. A day goes by, it's cool, you know, you give them a little time, you're calculating in your mind. You know, they're possibly just looking through the tapes and you know, they're gonna get back to you the next day. Two days go by, you're like, okay, maybe they just didn't get to the tape yet. The third day, that's when you just, you're just a wreck because you put so much effort into this character, you felt like this character was you, you were born to play this character, and you still did not get this call back. A week goes by, you've given up hope. This character isn't yours. Sorry guys, it's hot. Um, this character isn't yours, you realize that you're not gonna get a call back, and now you're emotionally messed up because you put all this effort into this character and you realize like, wow, they didn't book me another job I didn't get booked for. There's so many reasons as to why you didn't book this character. Let, let's just start, you know, with the physical traits. You might be too tall. You might be too short. You might not look like the character that's playing the mother. If you have a mother in the film or you might not, you know, fit or match the wife or the husband or your physical traits just don't match up with the other characters that are being casted for the project. You gotta look like you work together. You, you, you mesh well together. You could be married to this person. or This person could be your parent or your child because they blew everybody away on the casting and they're already casted. Now it's between you and someone else. So that could be one thing. Let me pause that for a second. Hold on, there's a call. Busy, you know. So there's also the... You probably just rubbed the casting director the wrong way. You could have went in there as a, as a character and a lot of times casting directors don't understand okay this person's in character right now you know so it's like oh shoot this person was a total douchebag and your character the character you're playing is a douchebag and the casting director didn't understand that so they're thinking like okay you know what this person has bad energy i don't even want to be involved with this person in this project or you your vibes just could have been off that day to where the character just didn't work out with one another Okay, and also your portrayal of the character, though it may have been beautiful, it may have been, you know, just, just killer and stellar, it might not be what they're looking for in the character that they want to play the film. And casting directors tend to have relationships with people in the town already. Their favorites, that's what I like to call them. They have their favorites, so they're gonna call on them first. Your casting could have just blew theirs out of the water but they have these relationships with these people already. They know how it is to work with these people. They're not necessarily better actors than you are, but they have these relationships. They know they could count on these people. Call times five in the morning, this person's gonna show up at 4.45. He or she's gonna remember their lines. They don't have to worry as a casting director. 
because they already have these previous relationships with these people. It's easier to work with someone that you know already. It's a friendship thing, you know. It, you know, when you're working on set with someone, it's a real intimate thing. So they rather work with people that they know already. You know, till you can get in that door and they're like, okay, this person's reliable. This person remembers their lines. This person's on point with their performances. Sometimes it's not the best performer that gets the job. Sometimes it's somebody that they know that's reliable. Um, somebody that's easy to work with. So, you know, you gotta understand the casting director's relationships with other actors. You'll see something that's gotten, that, that's been shot and you see it on television and you're like, oh wow, they picked this person? I, I, I would've totally murdered that that performance. I can't believe they picked them instead of me, but that's why, because they have that relationship and they have that repertoire and that person might have a bigger following than you have. That all factors into it. There's several other reasons why you didn't book the part. Your schedule might be off. You might not have the same schedule that they're looking to shoot on. And at the end of the day, if you didn't book the part, it just wasn't yours. It wasn't your part. It was meant for someone else. So you gotta go home. Like as soon as you finish an audition, don't call anyone and tell them how great it was and how you nailed it and how you feel like you, you know it's yours. Just go flesh that character out. Go sit down in a park, take deep breaths, meditate, pray, whatever you do to clear your mind. You do that after you finish an audition and you let it go. Because if it's yours, it's yours. If it's not, you can't do anything about it. It's for someone else. Don't hate on the person, don't get jealous. Because, you know, every industry in every town, it's quite small. You know, you start going to auditions and you'll see the same people over and over. Don't hate on their progress. Don't do that. Because that doesn't help your progress. That hate, you know, internalizes and you start feeling bitter and you start feeling down on yourself. Don't do that. Because whatever is yours is yours. You just continue to show up. You keep those vibes good. Keep the good energies. And don't live with the characters in your head. You got to throw them away. As soon as you're done with them, throw them away. If you didn't book the job, you know what? You didn't book the job. As soon as you finish the audition, keep it moving. Keep it light. Go have some coffee. Go have some ice cream. Go have whatever you like, and that eases your mind and makes you feel good about who you are. Because you're wonderful. You're beautiful. You're incredible. And I'm out of here because pretty soon somebody's going to walk through that door, and it's just going to get hectic in here.